I'm Courtney, welcome back to my channel and I hope you're doing so very well. Today we are going to create our very own Christmas countdown numbers for your journals, for your December dailies. There's something a little DIY on my channel today and we're going to do it using watercolours. I am using sticker paper to make mine. I do use sticker paper and also watercolour paper for the other ones. But in this video I'm going to use sticker paper. You're also going to need a variety of number stamps. I use two different types in this video because I make two different colorways and I use this one and I also use this one in the video. So number stamps are a must. The next thing that I use is a crooked circle stamp. This is not like a must, but I think it makes it much easier to create your numbers and to give them a more uniform look. This is a Hero Arts one. Another thing you are going to need is, because we are doing some embossing today, you're going to need an embossing pad. I am using clear and I'm also using an acrylic block for my stamping, but this is one by Ranger and it is my preferred choice. Today we are embossing with gold embossing powder. So I put my embossing powder in a tub to make it easier to emboss things of a large nature. So gold embossing powder, you may choose whatever color you like. I am also using some gold ink by Winsor & Newton and that is to create a little bit of magic and a little bit of gold accents on our Christmas numbers because I think it just gives it that little bit of a pop. But again, this is not a necessary thing, that's just something that I prefer to do with mine. If we're going to do embossing today, we're going to need a heat tool. Now my heat tool has seen better days, but it still works just as fine, so a heat tool is needed. These are my Daniel Smith half pans and I will be using a different group of greens to show you today and I will go through them as I paint them down for you. The greens that we're using today in this video is Diopside Genuine, lovely, lovely green. You have this in your portable rainbow set. The second shade of green, we are going to do Thalo Green Blue Shade. We are also going to do a sap green, one of my personal favorites. It's such a lovely green. We are also going to use Amazonite Genuine. It's a little bit more of a bluey green, but we're all just, we're trying to create a mottled effect. And the last bluey green that we're going to use is Thalo Turquoise. So these are the greens and the bluey green shades that we use to make our first set of Christmas countdown numbers. So get your sticker paper ready and let's start creating a very messy and mottled background. Now you'll notice when you first put your, your strokes of watercolour down, the paper is going to suck up that, that colour. And you can see it slowly seeping down into the paper. My remedy for this is to layer a few layers of the watercolour on and so I mix and move things. Slowly, there's, slowly it sits on top instead of seeping down. So it's been a lot of trial and testing for this, but I got it to work. So this is how we get our greens to really pop on our sticker paper is to really layer on the watercolor and really mix it all up. And there's no rhyme or reason to how I'm putting down the greens. I'm just grabbing them slowly and mixing them all together, trying to get a variation of lights and darks. Now, as you can see, I'm getting really vibrant colors and that is because I'm using less water and more pigment. So I'm only dipping my brush into the water and really scooping that pigment out of my half pan to make sure I'm getting the full force of the color. Um, the Amazonite needs a little bit of layering to get a really bright, vibrant shade because it's such a soft color. I do tend to sort of grab that color a few times and layer it down several times in the one spot to get the shade I'm looking for. But I really, really loved this. I know that red is normally very traditional for Christmas and I do show you a red version, but I do not paint it on camera. But I thought the greens were so, so beautiful and a little bit of a different take on Christmas. And the green and gold just looks stunning. Now, as you guys know, I buy my half pans from Artistic Hat over on Etsy, and she has asked me to create this video for you so I can give you a public service announcement. Now, if you are thinking about buying watercolors for Christmas this year, her shop will be shut from Dece December 1st onwards. 
So that means you need to get all your Christmas orders in before that date so that she can get your orders to you in a timely fashion and before Christmas. Now, never fear, I also have a discount code which I will be leaving at the end of the video for my Inky subscribers as a thank you from Chandra for being such awesome customers. So yes, December 1st, get your watercolor orders in but let's keep going with this video. I do dry it and make sure that all aspects of your paper are dry. That includes the back because if you've got wet spots, your embossing powder is going to not only stick to your stamped images, it's also going to stick to any damp areas. So make sure your paper is completely dry before moving on to the next step. I love the way the greens and the bluey greens all mix together to make such a beautiful modeled effect. It looks really, really awesome when we take it to the next level. So I do cut my sticker paper down into uneven strips just to make it easier to emboss. Now I am adding some gold paint to my pieces of sticker paper just in a random fashion. I use a small brush to basically stipple and make little dots and things and put some gold accents in a random fashion. That's what makes it so good is that you can randomly add some gold accents and some of them will make it onto your numbers and some won't but that is what makes it so nice. I do some little dots, some little strokes, some little crosses. I really had fun and it looks really good in those dark areas, those really dark diopside green pools. I actually added polka dots into those areas and it looks really, really nice. I did the same with the red ones in the dark spots. I added little like polka dot pools, but I absolutely loved the way the gold looked and I'm so glad that I did it. Once you're happy with your random gold accents, it is time to get down to the stamping and the embossing part. If you have a circle stamp and that's what you want to use, that is A-OK -okay with me. This is a Hero Art stamp set that I got on special, but I actually bought it for that wonky circle. So I grab my clear embossing pad and my acrylic block with my stamp attached to it, and I start putting the stamp down, I don't emboss one by one. I am quick with my circles. I get them down as soon as I can and make sure that they're all evenly spaced and not overlapping. And then I pop that sticker paper into the gold embossing powder and just move the embossing powder down those stamped images. Just make sure that all your stamp images are covered. And if you have any excess, just tap it off or use a fine paintbrush to remove any gold embossing powder that you don't want in those spots. Now there's time to get your heat tool and and to start melting that embossing powder down and it is like magic, Christmas magic. I love watching embossing powder set. It is just, I never tired of it. And I did a lot of these numbers. I did two sets of 30 and it was just so much fun. Even though it's monotonous, they look amazing and I can see me doing these in various colors. I have hot pink embossing powder. I can definitely see some hot pink ones in my life. So there is the finished look. And once we've done that, we are also going to get our numbers. I do do all the circles first and then I start down with the numbers and move on from there. This is a close up of what your circles will look like. Obviously yours will differ if you have a different circle stamp, but it does look fantastic. And I love how each number is going to be individual. So it is time to mount your stamps, your number stamps onto your acrylic block and to start stamping your little number heart out. Yes, this is time consuming, but you do know that making something yourself is so satisfying. And I love the fact that my numbers are going to be completely different to anyone else's numbers. Now I am going to attempt December daily this year and this was the reason why I actually decided to make this video. I thought it would be cool to show you a completely different take. Yes it's awesome to get stickers that you can buy but sometimes you don't have the money or you don't have the time so DIYing is something I love to do. So this is just a look at the numbers getting embossed. You can emboss again just don't, once you see it melt on the numbers, move it away so that you don't de-emboss your gold ring. Um, you can do that or you can like bubble it up and make it really hideous, but 
this is how they all look with the dots and they look friggin fantastic and I loved them so much that I decided to make myself a red set so that I could interchange them for red and green so I will show you the reds I won't show you how I made them but this is what the reds will look like you can make any type of colored numbers you wish I just decided that in the theme of Christmas and since we're doing Christmas things this is what the red and gold will look like this is the pre stamped paper I did this on watercolor paper and I'm going to hole punch them to make them moving numbers in my journal and this is what they look like I used a different number font for these ones so they are a tad different to the ones you saw me make but I do really love how they look my mum actually prefers the red ones and you may too but I really love how vibrant and different and each one is unique in itself. I hope this video has inspired you to create your own numbers, whether it be Christmas type numbers or even just numbers for your journals or your bullet journals. This is a way to do bright, vibrant and unique ones. If you're on the fence about buying some half pan watercolors, wait no more. It is time to treat yourself or treat a loved one to some half pans. Remember that orders get in before December 1st, before the shop closes and use the discount code INKYTRIBE10 to get 10% off your purchase. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season. You'll see me back here very soon. But thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye! Drawer number three is a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I actually purchased this drawer organizer from Ikea as well. Um, I would like to buy a couple more of these because they're really handy to compartmentalize things. But they were $12 each, so I just bought the one. Now I have my Letraset Aqua markers here and I have a couple of my neon markers. Obviously the pink is in my pencil case because that thing is my life. I have my Caran d'Ache gouache colors. I have a couple of tube watercolors that I have bought and haven't put into half pans. Um, I have my Zig Clean colors. These are the older style before they rebranded with the clear lids, which is why they look different. I happened to nab them from an eBay seller who was clearing out their stock, so I got them really cheap. And we know those markers are not cheap, so that was a win. And back here I have um, just odds and ends, leads for my coloured um, paces, uh, inks for my pens, that sort of thing, uh, extra rubbers for my tiny, tiny eraser and some archival ink. And then down here I have some washi tape and a tiny little tin which has...